What's up guys, Afrin here today on San Diego Bay. I have a little time today to go fish. It's been real busy at the shop. We have Fred Hall right around the corner. So we've been getting all that product ready for the tackle show. Fred Hall tackle show is the biggest in California and it happens through March. There's two show dates in March, one in Long Beach and then one in Del Mar. Stoked to get a little time to come out and fish. Want to do a little bit of stuff right before that Fred Hall show. So I'm happy to get out here. Thanks for all those online orders you've been giving us. It's been awesome. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get after it. I'll be looking for some hard bottom, trying to find some of those bass that are located on structure. Let's see what we can get into. There we go. Got our first fish on that drop shot. Spot a bay bass. It's kind of exploring some structure right there. Saw some little marks on the fish finder. So I dropped the drop shot down there, get it down real quick, just to see what was biting, see what was down there. There we go. Miniature bay bass. <laughs> to start it off. Right there, little drop shot. But what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the fish finder seeing if there's anything interesting I can drop a bait onto. Little fighter. Again, testing the waters here, putting the drop shot down there. Spotty. Choke. Dude, he inhaled it. He, he really wanted it. Small fish. but small fish, but <laughs> quite a big bite for that little guy. So I'm just looking for anything on the fish finder. And when I see it, I drop on it just to check what's down there, take a survey. And that one happened to be a spotty. We're gonna go back over that structure and see if we can get something else. Let me show you what that was. Check out that beast right there. Number 16. That's what it's like in San Diego Bay. You get tugboats, a lot of patrol ships, a lot of security, sailboats, Navy vessels. I mean, that thing is, I think is awesome. I don't know what it does, but it's badass. When you're on a kayak, you better get out of the way. <laughs> I fished a little deeper stuff, didn't catch anything. So now I'm headed to another deep spot but on the way from here to there, I'm gonna fish this inside and hopefully pick up a couple more spotties. So I'm drifting down the bank here and I can see a lot of light and dark. And the light is the sand and the dark spots are either the rock or the eelgrass. So I know there's some structure here. So I'm bringing that bait right over that dark stuff. They're hiding in that structure, waiting to blow out, eat some bait fish. So it's good mixture, ambush spot, a little bit of seam action, some rock, some bigger rocks in the water. Slow rolling that war blade. There we go, guys. Got one on the war blade. Nice fish. Nice spotty. Look at this spotty. There we go, look at this nice spot of bay bass. 10 foot of water, war blade. Choked it. Let's go ahead and get him in the water right now. And there's what he crushed right there. Three quarter ounce war blade. MB secret, Mission Bay secret. Let's see if we can get another one. We're in 10 foot of water, just drifting with the current going to our next spot. Fishing the warblade though, trying to find some reaction bites. I see a little bit of bird working on the surface up ahead, so 
I'm hoping that there's some bait in the water and they're ready to eat this war blade. It's a bladed swim jig. So a swim jig with a willow blade running behind it and that willow blade acts like the trailer. There we go. Another war blade bass. Okay, they're a little on the a little bit on the deeper side. Fishing in ten. I'm fishing in six. I'm sitting in six. Oh wow. Nice spotty. Great color on this one. <laughs> nice looking spot of bay bass right there. Good color on that fish. Again, I'm just cruising down the bank here, taking the tide, taking the tide back down to fish some other spots, but it's a nice spotty. This is an Abu Garcia Pro Max. This is like an $80 reel or a $90 reel. I actually really like it for what it is. And this is a Abu Garcia Mike Iaconelli rod. It's a 7.2 medium heavy. I really like it. It's a real crispy rod. It's got a stiff backbone with a fast taper tip. So I'm able to feel those bites and set that hook really easily. Kind of funky out there for me today. I had a little bit of, I guess it was, I would say bad luck. So right away in the morning when I brought my kayak down this ramp right here, just a dirt slope into the ocean, uh, I rolled the kayak and flipped all my stuff, rods and reels on the ground, lost my coffee, lost my water. So that happened right away. And the, on the way into my deep spot, the fish finder battery died. So was unable to look at any of my spots. And I basically just called it right then because fishing in San Diego Bay without a fish finder is fishing blind. You cannot, it's like a desert out there. It's 40 feet of just sand and small rocks every so often. And with the fish finder, you're able to key in on those rocks. And that's the most important part. So this is how I have the kayak set up in the back of the truck. I run the red flag there. Here's how I tie it down. I just use tie downs and I go through the scupper hole and I go through the latch on the, on the truck. And same thing on the other side. And what that does is it, it snugs the kayak into the front of the truck bed. So it's a nice stable way to transport the kayak. All right, since I'm down here, I do have to run a Dana landings to drop off some product. So let's go do that and finish this day off on a high note. Let's go. That's, that's fishing today. It can't always be wide open. And today was a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me on this adventure. Even though it was a struggle, we caught a few fish, but hey, that is fishing. That's what goes on and it's reality. <laughs> we just delivered to Dana. Awesome crew there, uh, good, good group of guys. I wanna thank everybody for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. I can see that channel grow with all the likes, subscribes, and all the views. Thanks for shopping online with war baits. I really appreciate it. I love seeing those orders come in and we get them out the next day. So you order them, we send them out. It's one to three days, USPS, 
priority shipping. We make sure we get those orders out right away. We know you guys want those baits. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them below. I'll make sure to read those and answer them best I can. The days that I catch little fish or I get skunk drive me to fish harder and go out again because I want to catch the big one and I want, to, I want a big bag every time I go out. Hopefully something in this video inspired you to fish. Maybe it was my fail that inspired you to fish, but all right guys, get out there and go fishing. Hook that giant. Guys, finally got one here. Real tight to shore like I was talking about. Little guy, 10 feet of water. <laughs> Look at him, little, little guy, but. Oh yeah, guys, got one. On a one ounce four bait head, yellow, with a full size five inch bait. Nice fish, ate the full size bait, five inch. And there you go, the one ounce head with the five inch mono swim bait. That color is called shmoney. 